It's a way to unlock layers of history or potential futures on a place. Uh, I'm Ben Sachs and my project's called Perceptoscope. Perceptoscopes are a new type of augmented reality tool for public spaces. We work with museums or historical sites to recreate things that might have been lost to time. Basically, what we have is a completely optical augmented reality experience. We use prisms and lenses to combine the digital image with the real world. My goal when I started it was to try to perfect augmented reality to be more about the experience and less about the bullshit. So a lot of AR when I first started this project was people holding tablets up in front of them. Even Pokemon Go, that's kind of what it is. It's you're holding your phone up and you're looking. And it felt like, you know, VR is on the horizon. There's these really immersive things going on. AR needs to have that. So I started playing around with this idea um, way before even HoloLens was out publicly. This was just kind of something I was messing around with. In my mind, it started off as a public art installation. How do we create a cool new novel experience in public spaces? And what's the type of reactions that people have when they experience it there? This phase is about design for manufacture. How do I get this to a place where the bomb is really tight, my supply chain is really tight, and I can start really pumping these out and giving them places? Because there's a demand. I'm having people reach out to me that want them in their museum or their public space. And so what I want to be able to do is provide it to them and provide it to them in a way where these things can last there for, you know, 50 years, 75 years, the way that the coin-operative binoculars you see around are.